Hello, my loves. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for May 24th through the 31st. So guys, I am so, so, so proud to announce that my baby sister has opened her own YouTube channel, Temperance of Tarot. Um, the channel is so new that if you go on and search it, you're not going to find it. So I posted the link in the description box below if you'd like to check her out uh, and subscribe. She is going to be posting her weekly love videos either today or tomorrow, hopefully. Um, she did it all by herself. She did not take any guidance from me. You know how it is between siblings. So I'm very proud of her. She's doing it all on her own. Um, so again, if you want to check it out, it's in the description box below. Temperance of Tarot, okay? Uh, guys, I hope everybody is doing well, staying safe, happy, and healthy. Let's go ahead and get shuffled up. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Geminis, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Geminis, please, Holy Spirit? What advice, what messages do my Geminis need to hear for May 24th through the 31st, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. May 24th through the 31st, please, Holy Spirit. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, Sage, jewelry. It is a lot of fun, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post um, and when the winners are announced. Oh, and I forgot, I'm also, I just started giving away uh, Bibles. They are study Bibles. Um, they're uh, NIV version, so they're easy to understand. They've got large print. So guys, don't forget when you're commenting, if you want to enter the winning, uh, for the winnings, comment and tell me what it is that you want to win. Crystals, jewelry, tarot cards, free reading, whatever it is that you guys want, okay? So I know what it is that you're looking to win. Um, for personal readings, I'm only taking um, emergency readings right now due to high demand, okay? Uh, the link is below. You can also find the link to my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing, in the description box below. I will be starting a new series on how to... Um, Find your spiritual joy while overcoming pain and suffering. So hopefully we'll be starting that this weekend. So if you'd like to sub subscribe, the link is below. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message, Gemini, which was kind of like, I had to laugh a little bit because it was so like, <laughs> all right. So what I'm feeling here, okay, this isn't funny, but what I'm feeling here is that either you walked away from somebody or somebody walked away from you, okay? I think you guys just kind of came to the realization of this isn't working, okay? Could have been due to a third party situation, but more than anything, I feel like you're just coming to this realization of, listen, I'm tired, we need to give this a break, it's just not working, you know? Um, I feel like you're trying to pretend, or someone here is trying to pretend like it doesn't matter, okay? Like, you know, poker face, right? You know, someone here is trying to play it cool. Um, but I do feel that someone is really upset because they kind of saw forever with this person. Um, I feel like maybe they felt like, um, it's a level of kind of a possession almost because I feel like the person that's walking away is very abundant in some way, whether they look really good, whether they have a lot of money, they have a nice car, they have a nice apartment. There's something here that they have that you felt should have been yours or vice versa, Gemini. Okay. Or vice versa. So you feel like this person is taking off in victory. Okay. And you know, they have all this abundance and now they're going to take that and invest it into somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody else gets to reap the benefit, right? While you're getting pushed away. And that kind of like really annoys you. Right. Um, so I feel that, you know, that could be your energy. That could be your person's energy. So here we have the Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. So, you know, somebody here may have been noncommittal possibly, or there could be an energy of somebody like chasing the person because, um, you know, they're, they're, they're not happy about the fact that somebody here is leaving. Okay. That could be an indication there. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Gemini's? Honeymoon. Yeah. Somebody, somebody has left the building. Be you, Gemini. Could be your person. Okay. Could be you. Could be your person. Could be vice versa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There's way too many cards here. 
Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to take this, but someone here is really upset because they thought that they were going to have a family, um, a wedding, you know what I'm saying? Somebody here thought that they were going to have forever with this person. It's too many cards, I'm not going to take it, but someone here is upset because they, they really thought that they were going to have forever. And instead, with this person, instead, this person is packing up their bags and leaving. With honeymoon and travel, they're out the door, right? And yeah, I just feel like somebody really saw a future in this connection, and now it's gone. And it's funny, is they're trying to, from what I saw they're trying you're trying to have a poker face you're trying to not show that you love this person you're not trying to show that you want them to stay um, someone here is not as far as I saw they're not really speaking up so we have someone that you love here is leaving now I'm happy that this came out and I'm gonna tell you why because it kind of concerned me that the only reason why this person was upset that the person was leaving was because of this like abundance per se right so I feel here with temptation that's that level of obsession someone here like wants to possess something that they love something that they feel should be theirs um, you know I'm feeling like uh, sexual frustration from this fear of losing like you know not not the best you know the lower soccer chakras aren't the the best um feelings or the you know so guys i feel that yeah someone here is just obsessed in love they don't want this person to leave so let's see what we have here lover's card gemini energy and the devil wow so we got the devil we got the devil yeah someone here is majorly obsessed over uh, somebody here i feel like this could be you know possibly could be a karmic soulmate but i'm feeling more that um someone here feels a very strong spiritual tie okay they felt like this is my this was my person we got along we married each other this was supposed to be forever how are you just turning your back on me so we've got capricorn energy gemini energy we have the two of swords and the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy like i feel like someone is saying i mean what you don't love me anymore you just fell out of love with me i don't understand how does that work we've got the six of pentacles and the judgment card okay sagittarian energy i feel like Maybe somebody's making the decision that this is imbalanced, or maybe someone here is making the decision of screw this, I'm investing in, you know what I'm saying, you know, wanting a second chance. But I feel that with the world card and the eight of swords, um, I feel that someone here is very much stuck on the fact that somebody has closed the door on them or that somebody has outgrown them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that somebody has outgrown the situation is really what I'm feeling. All right, so let's see here, guys. So here we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Virgo energy, and the Four of Wands. Somebody here was expecting a proposal of marriage or a proposal to move in together or to buy a house together, uh, you know, a wedding and children. Um, someone here was looking for a family. You know what I'm saying? This is a family. Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, that's a wedding, that's a marriage and a child. Someone here was waiting to be a queen of pentacles you know capricorn taurus virgo energy look at how she's holding her belly there you know she was waiting to be a mom or he was waiting to be a dad he she doesn't matter but someone here was waiting to be committed and happy and you know just living their life and that's all changing scorpionic energy with that death card that is all changing with the seven of cups here and the nine of cups it's almost like you know everything that this person was daydreaming about is now an illusion you know what i'm saying everything that this person thought was their wish fulfillment has now just walked out the door we've got the wheel of destiny and the page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy um but i feel like somebody here is realizing that this is you know that somebody will face their their karma for this or somebody is just awakening to the fact that this is destiny this is the way it's supposed to be you know let's see here Yeah, so this is the person that fell out of love. This is the person that's that's leaving, I'm feeling. And then here we have the person that just, you know, was kind of like all in on this connection. Spirit, tell me about the lover's card. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone here felt a very strong emotional tie. And with the Devil card, we've got that Three of Wands. Someone here is obsessing. Someone here is yearning and obsessing for this person. Someone here can't get this person out of their mind. Tell me about the Two of Swords. We've got the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. 
we have the Knight of Cups, Justice card, Libra energy. So I feel here that it's just like this person cannot believe how this person was able to just put up their boundaries and just, you know what I'm saying? Like fall out of love. Like the Justice card is being treated unfairly, right? So this could be a past life karmic soulmate possibly, guys, possibly. Um, but I'm just saying here, I feel like someone was in love and now they're obsessing yearning or hoping that this person will come back and i feel that with the two of swords here and the emperor someone just kind of like closed up you know just literally like put up like armor right that knight of cups in the justice card i feel like someone is waiting for an apology there's waiting for somebody to come back six of pentacles we've got the two of pentacles here like are they coming back? Are they not coming back for a second chance? Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. I feel like you may try to reconcile with this person. We have the World card here, Ten of Swords. There's definitely a cycle that's ending here. Eight of Swords, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Um, tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. The Fool, Aries, Energy, and Temperance. Yeah, someone here really wants this to work, Sagittarian Energy. Somebody here really is obsessed about wanting this to work, okay? They cannot handle that this person is going off, you know what I'm saying, to go be with someone else. It's just not, then that's not cool. Tell me about this page of pentacles. We've got the ace of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Tell me about the four of wands, the judgment card, Sagittarian energy. So I feel here that, tell me about this judgment card, the wheel of fortune. Again, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here twice. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Death card. The Death card and the Death card. Major transformation here. The High Priestess. Cancer, Piscean, Energy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. The Five of Wands. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Four of Cup, uh, Four of Swords, and we have the Two of Cups. Oh, how funny! Okay, this is taking a turn. Tell me about the Page of Swords. We've got the Page of Swords again, Awakening here, and the Three of, of Pentacles. Okay, so here's what's happening. So we have this person walked away. Okay, so now we have this person here that's yearning, obsessive, like really wants this person to come back, okay? Now, this person who walked away, okay, this person who walked away um, is realizing, they're coming to this clear realization here with this page of pentacles that they may want to actually accept this offer or go in and apologize because I feel here that with that four of wands, someone here, I feel like this might be for people that are already married possibly. This could be a twin flame connection. Someone here is feeling that, you know, that they're being called to accept this second chance, to give someone a second chance or to go back for a second chance. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Death card, I feel here that somebody may have thought that because the Queen of Pentacles can also be a person who stands alone, who's independent, who doesn't need anybody. And with that Death card, I feel that, you know, someone here, someone's intuition is telling them, like, you know, something's not right. I, I'm not sure if I'm making the right decision here. Somebody here may have gone off to a third party, you know what I'm saying, to explore their options with the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. But I think they're realizing that that was an illusion. With the nine of cups the five of wands and the hierophant i feel like this person is starting to come to the realization that they want to fight for their marriage or they want to fight for this connection or this person is happy that this person is coming and fighting for this connection with the wheel of fortune the four of swords and the two of cups i feel like somebody is feeling you know what I think it happened, there was a reason why this disconnect happened. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here is saying, I think it's good that I took a break from this connection because now I feel like, you know, I appreciate my person more and they appreciate me more. Because see, we've got the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords. We've got two people here awakening to the fact that they want to work on a connection, okay? So I feel like, you know, the, the Page, the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune, that's all divine timing, okay? So what I'm getting here is, you know, maybe God, the universe, whatever the case may be, um, maybe this separation was done purposely so that these two people can see, you know, what they would be losing, okay? Because someone here was in player mode, okay? Someone here went to go possibly... Um, be with a new lover here with that four of swords 
um, I feel like someone's intuition is saying that maybe this break was, you know, spiritually guided because now with the King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, we've got someone here who is committed. And ironically, we've got the Queen to the King of Pentacles here, right? See, so look here. We've got the Queen of Pentacles to the King and the Five of Cups. Somebody is regretting this decision. They are regretting this decision. And with the Justice card, I feel like they want to come in and balance out those scales. So I feel here, guys, that somebody here maybe gave into temptation. Um, but, you know, or maybe someone's just obsessively wanting this person to come back. I, and I feel like it's showing the other person how much love there is in this marriage or in this connection. Okay. The challenge here is the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, holding on to that poker face, holding on to that indifference when there's love here. There's a soulmate connection. There's, there's, you know what I'm saying? Remember when I said in the pre-shuffle, someone here is pretending not to care right but and so i feel here like you guys are you guys are both maybe pretending not to care but it's not going to last for long because we've got reconciliation here with the two of cups and we have a whole bunch of love you know we've got love we've got soulmate connection nine of pentacles and the ten of cups you guys are going to be fine yeah someone here thought they wanted to be single someone here thought virgo energy that they wanted to go off on their own but with the ten of cups i feel like there's going to be reconciliation happily ever after coming in so yeah there, there's like this energy of like somebody left and somebody was mad because they're like oh everything i worked on with you now you're going to take all that stuff that we worked on together and go give it to someone else and but it's all going to come together i feel like actually when you guys come together you're going to be happier and you're going to appreciate each other more we got two of cups ten of cups i mean that is beautiful right you know what i'm saying that is beautiful so i feel like this separation was divinely guided so that you guys can come back together and show each other more love. Okay. I know that sounds weird, but sometimes, you know, we can't question what our angels do or what God does or what the universe does because, you know, it's a higher power, right? All right, guys, I love you. Take care and be safe. Bye.